1972, when they moved away, mm -hmm. Motown became another record label, specializing in black music, mm -hmm. competing with Warner Brothers and CBS, and no longer a unique label. There was no more Motown sound anymore. Did you feel that way, Sylvia? Did it seem more like a sound in the 60s? Because often I do hear people say that, well, it wasn't really a sound because you had such a wide range of artists, but perhaps in the 60s. In 1989, a British record producer who had grown up listening to the hits of Detroit's Motown records during the 1960s decided to bring together many of the old groups to make a series of new recordings. In this program, host Trudy Gallant interviews the producer, Ian Levine, and two former Motown songwriters, Sylvia Moy and Johnny Bristol, who were involved with the new project. Was the Valvolettes. You may remember them from the Motown days, uh, such great songs as uh, Needle in a Haystack. So here we have hopefully another potential hit I in their so, hands. Yes. That's great. So, Johnny, I understand that you produced the Velvetettes at one time. Back in the Motown days, yes. Mm -hmm. I don't you're trying to repeat it. My, no. con my concept is to. The, the, the world has never seen anything to me musically so magical. I mean, people say the two biggest sounds of the 60s were the Beatles and Motown. Mm -hmm. The Beatles were a group. Motown was a sound. It was and hopes and aspirations. It was music that if you were feeling depressed or down at all, you could put on the record by The Temptations right. or by uh, Martha Mandela's and it would lift you up. It would Absolutely. actually do something. It, they, had, they captured something unique from, I mean, Motown, although it started like around 58, 59, I, the real turning point record, I think, was Heatwave, Martha the Mandela's. That mm -hmm. was the first identifiable Motown signing record. Everything before that fitted more in a contemporary sort of black rock and roll mm -hmm. era. Heatwave started the Motown sound, and then you got Dancing in the Streets, Where Did Our Love Go, all, all the, the endless run. But that sound, Motown themselves had a sound and a style. And then they became, from 1972, when they moved away, mm -hmm. Motown became another record label, specializing in black music, mm -hmm. competing with Warner Brothers and CBS, and no longer a unique label. There was no more Motown sound anymore. Did you feel that way, Sylvia? Did it seem more like a sound in the 60s? Because often I do hear people say that, well, it wasn't really a sound because you had such a wide range of artists, but perhaps in the 60s. I think a sound. It was. I think well, well, Detroit mm -hmm. uh, was multicultural multi-ethnic mm -hmm. and uh, I think it showed in the music we had the factories here and etc and you heard some of this in in the, in the music well, and of course we did not have the equipment uh, that maybe some of the other companies had right. we made up for it with creativity mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. some did not know that we stomped through many of the records that's right, right. Oh, and we stomped and we used a chain I think yeah. you put yeah. it on the song yeah, yeah. and then yeah. a chain yeah. that was used on dancing the the no, no way to run it was, no, it was no way to run yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah. we had little blocks of wood with hinges right. you know and clumping and clapping right. And it's it's strange because we I think the Motown, to the, to me, the, the, the Motown sound Motown. was a group of people. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it wasn't uh, when they say Motown sound, they think of Motown and records, but that's not behind the mm -hmm. door. The the Earl Van Dykes and the Beans Bowes and the Sylvias and James Jamesons. James Jamesons, oh, yeah. that rhythm section mm -hmm. that everyone used. See, we didn't use different. That's music. right. The we, had they, we also yeah. had the Funk Brothers. That's right. right. We also had the best, the best oh. of the Andantes, the backing singers, are sung on everybody's record. The so Andantes. We're recording now. Mm -hmm. See, and that was the sound. I think that Motown had the best selection of singers and personality voices that the world has ever seen. Well, let's take a listen to another group of those singers from the Motown days. Um, in fact, this is the first group to ever record with Motown in terms of a group, the Satin right. Tones, and we're yeah. going to take a listen to a new song that they've cut for this new album. <laughs> <laughs> 